What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a super simple oat ball recipe. So a lot of you probably already know about it, but my teammates love it and they're absolutely obsessed with them. I used to make them all the time at school and they would all devour them and yeah, they're delicious. They're not like super healthy, but they're definitely a healthier version of sweet treats. So yes, all you're gonna need is oats, protein powder, you can do chocolate or vanilla or actually any flavor you really want peanut butter, honey, chia seeds, and then additional add-ins. So you can do chocolate chips, raisins, nuts, seeds, whatever you would like. Let's get into it. Okay, so for this recipe, you basically just throw everything into a bowl, mix it all up, and then you roll it into little balls, put it in the fridge or freezer for like 30 minutes to an hour, and then they're ready to eat. I actually keep mine in the fridge. I just store them in there because I find it's easier that way. But yeah, all you're gonna need, like I said, oats, protein powder, honey, peanut butter, chia seeds, you can use any nut butter you want and then any additional add-ins you want. So first you're gonna take one cup of oats. I just use normal rolled oats, pour them in the bowl. One scoop of protein powder, I'm using vanilla, but you can use vanilla or chocolate or any flavor you want. One third cup of honey. You might need to add a little bit more honey later, but you, you'll be able to tell when you're doing all your mixing one third cup of peanut butter. You can also do this with powdered peanut butter. I have done that before where you like pre-make the powdered peanut butter and then add it in, but we all know that real peanut butter tastes so much better. But you can use any nut butter you want. Works with almond butter, cashew butter, anything. One tablespoon of chia seeds, add some fiber. And then you just mix that all up. If it's too dry, you can add more peanut butter and more honey, which I'll definitely be adding more honey. Okay, so clearly this is way too dry, which is normal. Well, I haven't fully mixed it, but it's gonna be a little bit too dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more honey. Okay, now the mixture is a perfect consistency, so this is when you would add in and mix in any additional things you wanna add, like chocolate chips or raisins or different nuts. I'm actually not gonna add anything in because I like them exactly how they are, and I forgot to buy chocolate chips, but that's normally what I put in or nothing. Um, if I do raisins, I'll also add cinnamon, make it more like fall tasting, but that's just me. So next we are gonna get out a container and you can put parchment paper down if you want. You don't really have to, but I'm gonna get out a container and then roll these into balls and place them in the container and then in the fridge or freezer. So I made, I think it's 12, yeah. Made 12 oat balls. They're not like protein balls since it's one scoop between all of them, but they're definitely tasty. And it's a good little sweet treat. I like having them in the fridge just on hand. So yes, I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna pop these in the fridge for a few hours and then they'll be ready for me to eat. Not gonna lie, I just scraped the bowl clean with a spoon and ate the, I guess you would call it batter. For that it's delicious for some reason it like reminds me of cookie dough i don't know why but anyway while those are in the fridge i thought i would just let you guys know that if you did want to make more than 12 balls you can always double this recipe they stay good for a really long time from what i've noticed i've kept them in my fridge for weeks and they still taste fresh whenever i eat them so yes you can double or triple or quadruple this recipe if needed if you want to meal prep and stock up on your sweet little treat and yeah that's it 
but I think I'm going to end this video off here and just let you guys know from now on I am going to be making videos live on Mondays and Fridays because I've been a lot busier with work and I love my job but I do want to make sure that I'm still providing quality content and not like rushing videos or editing or anything. So it's just going to be Mondays and Fridays from now on and I'm going to try and really work on making more content that you guys enjoy watching. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys try out that recipe. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.